Hello interested everyone welcome to class 11 biology in this video on chapter 14 respiration in plants we are going to talk about electron transport system and oxidative phosphorylation in our previous video we have discussed about Krebs cycle right so in Krebs cycle we saw there is production of energy rich molecules like NADH and FADH2 right so in this video we will see where those energy rich molecules are used uh, Krebs cycle nang lola NADH ta FADH2 lagi molecule dun su do so the call up hiju chigo re lawa in bana ani tharingi video din nang lola nang ki electron transport system and oxidative phosphorylation nang la hakur okay so let us discuss about these two topics okay so now in your textbook kisi khiran zola textbook ning ba diyo bi in bana you will find this particular diagram right so this particular diagram it has been changed in new textbook and it looks something like this over here color manda e chik tyongyo sto din din al tyong share right so you have to look at this particular picture kisi khana zlo te nalo re munying ba dite yo bin bana dilama ta you have to look at the diagram provided in the next new textbook so new diagram dilata go or okay so this is this shows electron transport system okay so electron transport system la di khar de la bin bana the metabolic pathway through which the electron passes from one carrier to another that is called electron transport system right and it is present in the inner mitochondrial membrane respiration nangola electron transport system like the khwali or love in bana it is present in in the inner mitochondrial membrane wow. and the electron transport system love in color it is a system in which many molecules carrier molecules of electrons they pass the electron they passes the high energy electron from each other right so one carrier to another a high energy electron is passed and that is called as electron transport system right and electron the contest pass through redox reaction right oxidation and reduction reaction chung we king gi ro ani electron the molecule chik ni chik la pass tangor ro ani dinde gi system di langa zo khar la wor la wi bana electron transport system la wor ani respiration kabla ro ani the electron transport system the khwali or la wi bana it is present in the inner mitochondrial membrane sa inner mitochondrial membrane la wi bana khore Right, so this is the mitochondria. So the chilo is toa. Chilo ke pakwa dikhar re external mitochondrial membrane re. Right, and the nanglo le yogyo ki the gombush toa, the gombush toa, the khar re. Kya ka jogo yogyo shmindu hai. So the khar re lau imbana. This is the inner mitochondrial membrane. So you can see outer membrane and inner membrane labeled over here. Right, and electron transport system chilo toa. The khwa le yore lau imbana inner mitochondrial membrane de le yor. The nanglo le yor. So membrane nanglo le yor lau orda. Okay, so therefore you have to know the structure of the mitochondria, right? Outer membrane, inner membrane, and then we have got matrix inside. The jungle thing answer kare matrix or mitochondrial matrix. Any uh, inner me membrane da outer membrane ni ki paragi space show marwe. The langa zo kare lagre inter membrane space lagre the tuendo. It is called inter membrane space. So the structure of mitochondria is important. You have to keep this in mind, right? That this here. Manjogi electron transport system lay the inner membrane nala yor laswa. So let's say this particular blue box over here, it represents a section of inner mitochondrial membrane. Right. So the mobusta box mobu the karisongor lava in bana inner mitochondrial membrane in basha shashu. So the nalo la karere, there are lots of proteins, there are lots of enzymes, enzyme complexes. Right. And these enzyme complexes they act as electron transport system. Now this here. Manjuyogi uh, tricarboxylic acid cycle or Krebs cycle nang lola NADH ta FADH2 la ni molecule ni suyogi wa Nadi doson dosa de tagar ta So let's look at this yellow box over here So this is one enzyme complex system Right So this is one enzyme complex system over here It is called as complex number one And the name of this particular complex is NADH dehydrogenase Right As the name suggests Di kharche gore enzyme digi it it oxidizes uh, NADH. NADH oxidizes sugar. Dehydrogenase nana karchigor it oxidizes NADH. So NADH when it is oxidized to NAD plus, it donates its electron, a high energy electron, to the enzyme complex. The complex one the electron ya pass tangor. So electron pass to the khande re molecule to molecule do dua. So there is a FMN, right? Flavin mononucleotide. And then then iron sulfur complex chigdua. So then the khachigor electron the pass tangi 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 chigor. 
right so electron the dus pass you have to look at this particular black line arrow lines over here right so electron dus ma pass to do so complex one the nadh dehydrogenase ki matrix na lo lyo mitochondrial matrix na lo lyo gyo ki nadh nadh the sugu sure krebs cycle na lo sugu ya so nadh the oxidized cheni ro electron ya pass tangre an electron the sulo pass tangre la wing bana ubiquinone la it is passed on to ubiquinone right and ubiquinone the reduced chani ro ubiquinone the reduced chani then it will pass the electron to complex number 3 right complex number 3 la pass tangre so complex number 3 the ming kharre la wing bana cytochrome bc1 complex right so complex number 3 is cytochrome bc1 complex complex 1 gi electron di sulo tanso complex 3 la tanso so complex number 2 di kho yor la complex number 2 ge yor ta complex number 2 is named as succinate dehydrogenase or succinic acid dehydrogenase right so de la kharchi go re la wi mai na if you remember during a uh, krebs cycle succinic acid is converted into fumaric acid right succinic acid the fumaric acid la convert cha ve kabla there is production of one molecule of FADH2. So, if you have to go and you have to go and look at the Krebs cycle diagram. If you have to Krebs cycle diagram, you will find that at the point where succinic acid is converted into fumaric acid, there is production of one molecule of FADH2. So, FADH2 is oxidized. Succinic dehydrogenase la dekha chire FADH2 the de uh, oxygenate chani electron jo marwe ha de la pass tangir complex number 2 de la succinic dehydrogenase 2 ke complex jo roa complex number 2 de la electron de ya pass tang ani de ge kharchi re complex number 2 ge electron de sulo pass tangir la na again it will pass on to ubiquinone uh, ubiquinone la pass tangir so ubiquinone ge ultimately sulo pass tangir la na complex number 3 la so complex number three cytochrome bc1 complex it receives electrons high energy electrons from both complex number one and complex number two so so complex one electron ragre complex number two le electron ragre so la na complex number three la raugor so complex number three ne ya khachir electron dike sama pass tani so the khare electron transport system ra so electron is been transported right from one molecule to the next Right. So the ma pass tangri zambala ultimately sulo pass tangri la wimba na cytochrome C la tangri. So cytochrome C location la siya. Cytochrome C is located on the outer face of the inner mitochondrial membrane. Inner mitochondrial membrane gi outer face la. So chilo la ma karshair. Yeah there. It's a small small molecules or protein molecules. So cytochrome C gi electron high energy electron the except chini. Kwa la tegri la wimba na complex number 4 la tegri. Complex number 4 gi ming la kharre do cytochrome c oxidase right cytochrome c oxidase la electron the tear so in electron the tear go yumzen shla so none of the uh, molecules over here they want to be in excited state so they want to pass on the electron high energy electron the ma pass na try chi ro so electron the ma pass na do zambala ro any energy chungu marwe ti jele pejo yor ro so they khaji do cytochrome c gi complex number 4 cytochrome c oxidase la pass na do zambaya cytochrome c oxidase complex the na lola yeah, mangu pe the component copper A, copper B, and dingi ni para la cytochrome A, the cytochrome A3 land doa. He gets some electron pass tangir. And ultimately, high energy electron, the sugi accept chigre la wing by na oxygen ye accept chigre, oxygen molecule. Now, here we can see the role of oxygen. Right? Aerobic respiration now, oxygen ye role karre do, it acts as a final electron acceptor. Electron last is a sugi lingre, high energy electron, the sugi lingre, and oxygen ye lingre. So oxygen electron the radu zambala it will react with the protons, right? Uh, hydrogen ions to this one the reaction it will form water molecule. So aerobic respiration now lola byproduct chikare water molecule chagyua. So the water molecule the contest chagora la wimba na electron yenema high energy electron yenema legyo chomarwe. The ultimately sugi except chigri la wimba na oxygen ye accept chigor. So oxygen the and the proton yamdola react chai and electron shuk chambuji layer wa. So electron the yamdola kengi and the react chai ni water molecule chao wa. So uh, this is the role of oxygen. You can see over here. Now if you look over here, all the energy that has been generated due to the passage of high energy electron. Electron chik ne chik chik ne chik lama pas tanga dua. Di pas tangyo di ga chiki energy jor wa. It is used for pumping off protons or hydrogen ions from the matrix into the intermembrane space so dikhare 
in the mitochondrial membrane ro po nanglo lo complex di ge re di nanglo electron pass tang ro so electron pass tang we king redox reaction di ge sama chu we king ki ro energy generate che ge di ge sama khar la phije che ge la we bana it will be used for pumping of uh, protons or hydrogen ions into the intermembrane space from matrix matrix ne proton di ge sama ya nanglo push chi ro ro pump chi ro so this ya nadh chick nadh chick uh this is oxidized chat is electron ya pass tang do what happens it pumps uh four protons over here complex number one gi khachi gore proton she pump chi gore ta khui electron do ma do do zambala hele le so complex number three gi khachi gore proton pump chi gore it also pumps proton over here right so proton pump chi so now this proton right uh sorry dele ya die yorda just write down over here there is one comes like this one over here as well so the the thing thing and the here which do so uh proton del pump chik do so quick the electron dine le gyo the nadh ne electron le gyo gi proton khaju pump chik to see dela proton she pump che so dine ma yong ni proton she ange del pump che so so thande electron di ma dus ma pass to the sambala complex number shiva ki kharchi do proton ni pump chik do so in total nadh ki nadh chi ki proton khaju pump chik re lawe imba na she she ke ani guchu lani nadh chi ki proton chu thamba ma pump chik or in the membrane space now now unlike nadh de la fadh2 jo fadh2 yoro and succinic acid ti fumaric acid chadu zambala fadh2 chik so yo so fadh2 di oxidize cha ni electron pass tang yo jo maro hai digi proton khaju pump chik do see imba na Rajinazo. Then you are drawn, quite the electron to do see our draw, quick electron pump chigmindo. Complex number two gi electron cursor proton pump chi war martha. So complex number three gi proton pump chigri, cause you chigri she raw she chess or quiggy. In a ma yong ni quiggy electron di ma yong ni complex number four gi proton ni pump chigdoa. So that means FADH two chigi raw. FADH two chigi proton cause pump chigrilana six protons will be pumped. Whereas NADH ki cause you chigore. 10 protons ma pump chi or adi nenga chambur da you have to know that right now what happens because of that because of that it creates a electrochemical gradient right electrochemical gradient create chi do membrane ki ma la yore ro inner membrane de del ki la yore inner mitochondrial membrane de ki la yore ro de la matrix yore de la intermembrane space yore so dini ni gi parala dini ni gi parala Electrochemical gradient creature. So there are proton manga cha so. So di kar cha dure positive it cha dure. Kaise na there are proton manga yar. There are proton nunga yar. So di kar cha dure negative cha dure. So it creates a electrochemical gradient. So the electrochemical gradient di kari ki kya bechhar lana protons ki kya bechha so. And inner mitochondrial membrane it cannot allow the passage of proton freely through the membrane. Membrane ki guj hai proton di dus solution jo thuma. Membrane impermeable re. It is not permeable to protons. So these protons they have to be uh, transferred, right? They have to be transferred through another enzyme complex called as ATP synthase. Right? The proton mampu chhaiyo jorwa. Di khari chigre, khajo side lapha zuya try chigre. Ine khari unit over la wohi pana. ATP synthase like enzyme the unit over. So ganzu ki chemi osmotic hypothesis like the time badiye the photosynthesis naal. Right, we saw there is ATP synthase. Chikba chik yaan dhele yor. Right, this ATP synthase is present over here. It is made up of two subunits, F0 or F0 or F1 lani nyi suyu doa. Component nyi ki suyu yore doa. So proton dige di unit rudu zamba la nyi ki arrow de tri doa. When proton, it passes through ATP synthase enzyme, what happens? There is, right, there is production of ATP from ATP and inorganic phosphate. Proton di, the proton mangbo legyo jomarwe. Di chu ya nanglo lo zudu zambala. Matrix nanglo ya zudu zambala. Energy yu yu leya jorwa. Di energy di sama khawa le peju chigre. ATP suya le peju chigre. Seo chung soa. This is very important. So, di nanglo le see the kiranzo. You have got three or four complexes over here. And you can consider this one as ATP synthase the fifth complex la kutsi shana digre. Right, so we have got complex number one, which is called NADH dehydrogenase. Complex number two, succinate dehydrogenase. Complex number three, cytochrome BC1 complex. 
and complex number four, cytochrome C oxidase. So all these are enzyme complexes. They are all protein associated with other molecules. Molecules shimpa dege sama to dege sama kare electron carriers ro. So all these are electron carriers, right? So you have to remember these things, right? Kiran zo diagram the practice chia. I will send you the diagram, right? Kiran zo ni diagram dege kiran zo lata ayongo. Kiran zo diagram the practice chia mano. Di naolo kiran zo kare follow chia gora lana. Electron khande spas tang do. Electron the spas tang vekengi. Proton dege khaju khaju pump chia do. Di ha ko gora. Right, and you have to know the name of these complex uh, four complexes over here. And the fifth complex is ATP synthase. So the electron transport system dire. Right. Now let us talk about electron transport system Right. You can see over here complex number one, two, three, and some of Right. It's the same thing. Now oxidative phosphorylation electron transport system and oxidative phosphorylation. ATP production jumarwe. Phosphorylation lawarwa. So this reaction over here, ATP ADP jumarwe. The ATP chai process the langazu kalawore phosphorylation lagyo. Now this type of phosphorylation is called as oxidative phosphorylation. Well, oxidative phosphorylation lago yumzen kare lawi imba. Why is it called oxidative phosphorylation? In respiration. The energy of oxidation reduction reactions during electron transport chain is utilized for the production of proton gradient required for phosphorylation process. And therefore, this phosphorylation is also called as oxidative phosphorylation. So you this sentence depends on the respiration of phosphorylation, ATP synthesis, oxidative phosphorylation is called as proton gradient. The positive charge hydrogen ion mangbu dela mangbu yogo yumze ro dela hydrogen ion nyunga yogo yumze de kharchin re la we imbana it happened through electron transport system which relied on redox reaction oxidation the reduction reaction that depend chini ani proton ya nolol pump chi gyo so di gi gen be imba sonza ani o di phosphorylation dilang azu khar la wore la we imbana oxidative phosphorylation so so the process is called as oxidative phosphorylation okay now let us talk about how many ATPs are produced, right? So before we talk about how many ATPs are produced, you have the things that you have to remember in ETC. Quick recapitulation in the it electron transport chain the coalayore located in the inner mitochondrial membrane. One point: the NADH and FADH two, which are produced during Krebs cycle, they are oxidized and electrons are released. High energy electrons are released. This is the second point: NADH the FADH two the khadusyogore. Prep cycle kabla suyo ECA cycle kabla. So the suyo dige sama kharchi gore. They get oxidized due to enzyme complexes and electrons are released in the electron transport chain. Point number niwa cha soa. Point number sumba dikha re. The electrons which are released they are passed from one carrier to another where complex one to four. Complex one ne eche ni complex four bhadola ma electron di pass tanga dua. Electron high energy electron di ma pass tanga orwa through electron transport system. Right and the final electron acceptor, electron data complex number Shiva Lalitu Zambala last the Sugi accept Chigorelana, oxygen ye accept Chigor. So this is the fourth point. And during electron transport, complex one, three, and four, complex number one, complex number three, and complex number four, they pump hydrogen ions into the intermembrane space. Very important point. Fifth point is very important. Right. Electron transport Nangola. Complex Thangbu, Sumba, Shiva Jumarwe. Hydrogen ions intermembrane space nanama pump chigor mitochondria gaji. And the uh, gikhar chigore electrochemical gradient create chigor. An electrochemical gradient is broken down through the complex number five called ATP synthase. ATP synthase now guja and kachigore proton gradient the ma breakdown chigore proton gradient the breakdown chidu zambala electrochemical gradient the ma breakdown chidu zambala and ATP synthase ki kachigore it started producing. ATP molecules. That is why it is called as oxidative phosphorylation. Okay, so DJ. Now let us go into the the respiratory balance sheet. At kya zolo kote naalo la respiratory balance sheet lani tear. The respiratory balance sheet lana thoda zolo khar la gorela bhi impa na. It answers this particular question. How many ATP molecules are produced from complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose? Kisi glucose molecule chik. Complete ma breakdown chia wimba na. Completely oxidized chia wimba na. Into uh, two, six carbon dioxide molecules. Ma chia wimba na. 
ATP molecule khazu ve thugu oresler. Glucose molecule çik ne? ATP molecule khazu thungu re. Gita yer. Wow. Ta kesi kiran zu page number 234 ge paragraph di loo bayin bayin na. Wow. Yema ge assumption kharik yao çik or la na. Uh, glucose molecule çik ne? ATP. Sumçu sopke thungu or la na. Hypothesis yor. There is an assumption that from one glucose molecule a total of net ATP la na. Total of 38 ATPs can be produced. Bir konsu gitti, kendi skarı lavayım bana. NADH çık ne? ATP sum sum tüngürüz. FADH2 çık ne? ATP ni ni tüngürüz. Düz çık ne konsu gitti yer. Nelik konsu kharı rağı var, sumcu sop gire rağı var. However, new information. Dedi ki, lok deyim, nalola nyingba dranca teşe adı da. However, according to new information. So for competitive examination, you have to remember this one. However, according to the new information, right, through scientific studies, they have found out that 1 NADH is not equal to 3 ATP but it is equal to 2.5 ATPs right 2.5 ATPs and 1 FADH2 is not equal to 2 ATP but it is equal to 1.5 ATP the indu zamba la ngazu de la khal total manda jira gir chela ngazu chi gyan tayar da so balance sheet ngazu chi gya oro ngazu information dikhin to ayanda NADH chi gi ATP khazu so to korlari 2.5 ATP di khande so me nyi khana no Hani 1 AFADH2 ki molekül çeki ATP khazu suyu tuğur lana 1.5 ATP suyu tuğur der. Ta dila ngazu assumption rida. Kesi 38 yin bayi nere ngazu information sava dikhe nere yin bayi nere. Dila ngazu ki assume khari çeki oore lao yin bayi na. Wa. The glucose molecule which is broken down or which has been oxidized through step by step manner. All the intermediate metabolites. Ra, glucose ne ma pyruvic acid da, acetyl coenzyme A da, hani citric acid da, da yike sangma chaya jo maru hai. Konsu sangma in a linear fashion dro bayi imbayi na. Ra, reaction di baith kore linear fashion nal ma dro bayi imbayi na. Ko respiration rang nal yunin dro de bayi imbayi na. Hani shi ne ngazu la khar raigre ATP uh, total khazu ra goya jo maru glucose ne hodhi takta ra goor. This is the assumption. We are saying that whatever products are produced in a step by step manner through the breakdown of glucose it stays in the respiratory pathway only if it stays in the respiratory pathway only then we will you can calculate the total number of atp that we can generate from oxidation of one glucose molecule uh, assumption odirda kisi pyruvic acid di shimbajil reaction shimbajin dalo zero bayin bay na ani ngazula atp takda rag marwa Kisi acetyl coenzyme A diyan, saca shimbaji ile drobe yin bayi na. Mitochondria na olalı mandu vache, saca shimbaji ile drobe yin bayi na. Again, what will happen? ATP, mazul khazu rao goya, zi gya yuchar odi tata rao mar. So, mazul khari azum chi goya re, ima la product khari form chi goya ne, o dike sama khaji goya re, respiration pathway re, raan ala drobe yin bayi na ni, azum chi goya re, ani azum di chewe gyan 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 Tam azu si gayer da total khazu produce chigyo me da den yetyo sa do 32 molecule 32 molecules of atp khandes ragyo me de ta enda so this ya glucose ma breakdown che ki process thambo dikhari be glycolysis la di ba glycolysis na khachi gore glucose is broken down into pyruvic acid in ba so in 10 steps through the involvement of 10 different enzymes glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvic acid and di kabla kharchi gore atp ni da nadh ni produce chigyo So you have to go and revise, right? ATP ni da NADH ni produce yuvar. And then pyruvic acid, it is converted into acetyl coenzyme A. Or pyruvic acid, the acetyl coenzyme A la convert chigre. Pyruvic acid ni yo yodi acetyl coenzyme A ni la convert chigre. The two zamba la khari produce chigre. Two molecules of NADH will be produced. Or seo chung soa. Acetyl coenzyme A will enter into Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle na la zubiro. Acetyl coenzyme A will be entering the Krebs cycle and a Krebs cycle nalo la kharchi gire GTP ni which will be immediately converted into two ATP molecule wa GTP ni produce chire odi lamsa khar la convert cha dure ATP ni la convert cha dure and then dinyam do la khari produce chire 6 NADH and 2 FADH2 produce chire imba so this some revision rada ta dinte indu zambala wa ta ngazu ki total khazu produce chire dikhe sama de thongu do glycolysis ta Krebs cycle nalo ta ATP produce khadu chigre through electron transport chain oxidative phosphorylation ki yune che go gorwa de langa ju khare ha go gorngi thanji ngela so NADH molecule chigi proton khasu pam chigor lana chu thamba pam chigor kena su thanji dishe gaswa NADH molecule chigi ro ko kisi oxidize chawe mena ko electron ma pas ta we kengi ro ani 
complex number one three da ni four ki khaju proton khaju pump che tu lana total proton chu ba pump che war in the intermembrane space. FADH two molecule chi gi proton khaju pump che tu war lana proton two ma pump che tu war. Any proton shi shi four protons passing through ATP synthase enzyme complex number six karay five the unit over in by na it results in the production of one molecule of ATP. Proton she intermembrane space now la proton she di any mitochondrial matrix now la ya do sudu zambala ATP synthase ki unit sudu zambala and ATP synthase ki ATP khazu suetu or lana ATP molecule chick suetu or so four protons is equal to one ATP molecule. The di do zambala relationship di ni ki na tawa in by na one NADH molecule it becomes equal to 2.5 ATP molecules. Ra NADH molecule chigi ra. Ani kesi proton chu thamba ma pam chetu yana. Ani proton shi shi ATP chig chig the chig ba yimba yana ra. Ani NADH chig di azu the chig ba re 2.5 ATP the chig ba chado. Ani one FADH2 which pumps out six proton ra. Thi naalo ni shi gi pro ATP ganza chig suyu ra. Ani nil ha jo di gi ATP chha suyu ra. So 1.5 ATP produce chigi. So, as you give relationship, Dikini Dikini Tawa in by now, Tangazu de la Zigarda. As you de la NADH Kentom Hazurado, Ni Ni Shichaswa, and de la Trucheni, NADH Chuche, NADH two, NADH two Lana Hazu the Chigbare, twenty five ATP the Chigbare, the relationship Dikinirta. If one NADH is equal to two point five ATP, then ten NADH is equal to twenty five ATPs. And FADH2 is equal to 2FADH2, which is equal to 3 ATP. Why? Because 1 FADH2 is equal to 1.5 ATP. That means 2 FADH2 is equal to 3 ATP. ATP is equal to 3 ATP. ATP is equal to 3 ATP. And ATP is equal to 3 ATP. It is equal to 3 ATP. It is equal to glycolysis. It is equal to Krebs cycle. ATP is equal to 3 ATP. So we have got 4 ATP. And the gets some of Domba in eighty because of Nitsanga and a sum dom, Nitsab Gece, and the Ganashidom, Sum Sony. So, one molecule of glucose after undergoing complete oxidation, it results in the formation of thirty two ATP. I can also lock them now thirty eight Tiorda. But according to new information, are total Kazu Legu or thirty two ATP Legu. That too, based upon the assumption that. All the metabolites, intermediate, right, pyruvic acid, acetyl coenzyme AD, metabolic pathway, shimba, kinkush nal mazu ache, Krebs cycle nal ado, and Krebs cycle nal para de mangu jua, malic acid layer do, citric acid layer do, da, then sama, kathara nal ola, ora jab dewa yin bai na, and shi ne ngazu kharra wari, glucose molecule chigma breakdown shi ne, total khazu ra wari la re, 32 ATP molecules ra wari la re, that is a theoretical, theoretical calculation re da, okay, so this is about electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation and then we saw how many ATP molecules we can get from one glucose molecule in aerobic respiration. Okay, so in the next video we will be discussing about these two topics, amphibolic pathway and respiratory quotient. Right, so these are the last two topics that, that are left in the chapter. Chapter simple here. Read about this and you can understand on your your own okay so you can read these two before you watch the next video